My next guest takes on Johnny Walker at UFC on ESPN Plus 2 on February 2nd. It is Justin Ledette joining me here on the program for the very first time. Justin, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thanks for joining me, man. Now, you're in the car right now. Uh, where are you headed to or where are you coming from? Uh, I just got done picking up uh, an acai bowl, so uh, just got done eating. Nice. Sounds delicious. So are, have you eaten it yet or you haven't? Am I holding you up from it? No, I already ate. I just ate, actually. So, okay, yeah. good. Yeah, th those are uh, really good uh, things to have uh, during the day, especially. Um, before we talk about your fight, I got to ask, how was the holiday season? I'm sure you got a little bit of time to enjoy with family and friends. Yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't got much family or friends, so it was spent mostly in the gym. So it was, it was good for sure. Yeah, keeping busy. Now, did you watch any Christmas movies at all, or did you skip that? Did you not t partake in the festivities? Nah, I don't really celebrate Christmas. Okay, it's just another just another week for you. Um, it's it's uh, it's been a while since we've seen you in the cage. Of course, you last fought in July, and here we are talking about a fight in February. Did you want this much time off, or were you looking to get in there a little bit sooner? Yeah, I was looking to get in there a lot sooner. I don't know what the holdup was, but as soon as they called me with their first fight, didn't matter who it was, I took it. Okay. So. When, when were you ready to go? Like right after your last fight, or did you need some time off to, to heal the bumps and bruises? Uh, shoot. I was ready to go in August. Oh, really? August. Okay, so that soon. It don't matter, yeah. Okay. And, of course, uh, your last fight, I know, didn't go your way against Alexander Rakic <laughs> at uh, UFC Fight Night 134. You always learn more from a loss than a win. Uh, what did you take away from that performance? Um, shit. Nothing really, man. Just uh, enjoy myself in there and uh, looking forward to get back in there. Like you said, yeah, you know, from a loss, you should learn stuff. And uh, I learned that, you know, sometimes people come in with a better game plan than you and uh, probably got a game plan better. But am I going to game plan better? Doubt it. <laughs> yeah, just go in and kind of go on instinct and, uh, you know, again, focus on what you're good at as opposed to your opponent, right? I'm sure that's sort of your motto. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So they tell you you're fighting Johnny Walker. Um, I'm sure I, I got to ask first before we talk about the matchup. Have you ever had a battle with Johnny Walker outside the cage uh, in terms of the whiskey? Oh, nah, nah. I, I'm a Jim Beam kind of dude, so <laughs> I don't really. So this is all new to you, then? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Um, how, how do you feel like you match up against him here? Obviously, he's coming off a pretty impressive debut himself. Uh, really made a statement in his last fight. Man, I think it's a great matchup. I think it's a great fight for the fans. Uh, we're both exciting fighters, both both very athletic, both top prospects in the 205 division. So, I mean, why 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 would I not be excited for this fight? I mean, I think it's going to end in the finish. And uh, I'm looking to go out there and uh, turn some heads and be exciting. Do you feel like you're being brought in to lose? And the, and the reason I bring that up is because this is in Brazil. He's a Brazilian guy. He had a really good debut. And we were talking about, you know, time in between fights. He got a fight pretty quickly. It seems like the UFC likes him. How do you look at this fight from that perspective? Uh, I mean, you said it, not me. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, man, dude. Shit. Uh, it's really just a, another day for me. Yeah. Ain't really, nobody ever really loved me my entire life. So if the UFC don't love me, that's okay. Um. Like you said, br being brought in to, to lose, I, I, I could see that. I could see that. Uh, definitely, I know there ain't too many other 12 fivers who would jump on the fight. Uh, I, I definitely didn't mull it over as soon as my manager called me, and I said, hell yeah. And uh, if you're bringing me in there to lose, then shit, bring me in. Let's go, and let's see if uh, if that happens. Uh, uh, this is, I think this is one of those fights that, as a fighter, you should dream about. I mean, we all dream about everything being against us. I'm going to, you know, Brazil, you know, the crowd, him. Like, everything's against me. Shit, as a fighter, shit, I look forward to this. Uh, all the cards stacked against me because I'm going I'm to go uh, I'm gonna go surprise some people. Yeah, and do you feel like the pressure's on him in this fight? Because I think, again, he's the hometown guy, so to speak, home country. And, you know, you're, you're a guy coming off a loss. I would imagine you don't really have much to lose here. He has a lot to lose here because he's a, you know, they've really hyped him up. Exactly. That's exactly the way uh, I look at it. And uh, that's going to be the mind frame going in. So I I'm very confident. I'm sure he's confident. And I, I think it's going to be a hell of a fight. I'm looking forward to be fight of the night. So it is what it is. Where are you training right now? And who are some of your main training partners? Um, I'm training still at the same places. Uh, Submission Boxing Academy, uh, Gracie Bar, Texas with uh, Professor Giacolino. Um, also doing a lot of training at uh, Heritage Muay Thai with Chase Corley and those guys. Uh, really close friends of ours and uh, really just keeping our training camp the same, man. Um, 
been training at this same gym for 10 years now and pretty much uh, we do the same thing that we always have uh so uh if the recipe keeps working you know we're gonna keep doing it how's that cut going to 205 of course you, you dropped down from heavyweight after you you know you after your last fight or sorry the, the last fight you competed at 205 uh, how, how's all that going it's going good man it's going good uh i actually have no problem whatsoever making 205 uh it's a really really easy cut um i actually have i had more problems like keeping weight on at heavyweight uh, I was living very unhealthy at heavyweight, eating pizza, burgers, just to try to keep the weight on. Now I get to eat, you know, more so what I want as far as like healthy stuff. I have a very clean diet and uh, I walk around like 225, 220. And the cut is really nothing at all. You know, uh, it's really, really easy. So I, I like this weight class a lot. A lot of people tell me all the time, like, oh, you know, you need to go back to heavyweight and this and that. But, uh, you know, if they get, offer me a heavyweight fight, of course, I'll take it. Uh, I was walking around at 220, 225 before I fought Chase Sherman, you know. So this is not anything new. I've always been walking around this way. And uh, so it just is what it is. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Um, same people as always, Frank Adame, Gary Pena. And uh, for this fight, we're going to have my, my wrestling coach, uh, Cole Schaefer, come in and help, uh, help with uh, the corner. How do you see this fight playing out on February 2nd? Uh, I don't have any uh, any details about it, but shit, I know it's going to be fight of the night, man. He's going to be bringing it. I'm going to be bringing it. Uh, I don't back down. He don't back down. Uh, the only thing about him is, you know, if he if uh, if we make it out that first round, it's going to be on my head. It's going to lean towards me. So if he don't get me in that first round, it's, it's, it's going to be a tough fight for him. But that that first round is gonna be hell of a firefight. I already know. I already know he's coming. He ain't stepping uh, back. I ain't stepping back because uh, uh, the rackish, the rackish fight. Rackish came out very hot and uh, didn't give me any room to breathe. And I feel like he's gonna do the same thing. So we ain't gonna back up. We're gonna fight fire with fire. And see who gets burned first. And where do you feel like a win puts you in the division? Because it's kind of wide open right now at 205. We see a lot of middleweights moving up. You know, obviously Jones has reclaimed the title and everything else. Uh, you know, what are, your, what are your thoughts on where a win would put you? Probably right where I'm at right now. Probably going, probably just going to sit on the bench until they, they feel like they can throw me to somebody else I can lose to is what I feel like. Like I said, I, don't, I mean, I don't really feel much love. I don't know who does, so... Uh, I'm not really uh, putting too much into that kind of thinking right now. And what did you think about that whole thing with John Jones, them having to move the card and, and everything else? Just as a fellow light heavyweight, what did you think about that whole situation? I mean, to be honest, I mean, because I've had my own runnings with USADA with my tainted supplements in the past, and that's what led me to, you know, be as natural as I am right now. Like, right now, I don't take no supplements, not a protein shake, not nothing. Like, everything is all natural. And, uh, for him to have all this stuff happen, like, it just don't make no sense, you know? All this new stuff is coming out. Uh, USADA, like, USADA's been uh, testing Olympic athletes, right, for, like, 30 years. Like, how are you barely coming up? You're barely finding all this new stuff out once you start testing UFC fighters. And regardless of that, you know, we can't fight with anything in our system on fight day. But this guy obviously has turnable in his system. But, like, I can't fight with THC in my system. You know what I mean? It's like, how are we, like, how is that cool? And then they were using the, the well, it's not performance enhancing. Neither is THC, you know. We're using THC to recover. It helps you sleep. It helps you with a lot of different things. And it's not a performance enhancer, but this turn ball that he took is. But he's able to fight with it. I just, I just, at, honestly, at this point, just, like let let them have their steroids if y'all want to take steroids that's cool i don't want to take steroids i never have never will but i do want to smoke weed like let me smoke my weed y'all have y'all steroids and i'll still fight y'all's bitch ass is how i feel yeah and you know we got uh, marijuana legalized up here in canada so uh you know, i know it... man man hopefully texas uh come come through someday for me man dang i don't know what's going on with us texans we supposed to be the best state in the united states but got me thinking differently right now well, hope that works out, and I'm certainly looking forward to this fight, man. UFC on ESPN Plus 2, February 2nd. Uh, Justin, it was uh, great talking to you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours, man. All right. Uh, find me on social media, Instagram, Ledette, just, Ledette underscore Justin, 
uh, Twitter, Justin Ledet MMA, Facebook, find me at Justin Ledet. Uh, shout out to my sponsors. Let me see if I can remember everybody. <laughs> uh, nah, uh, I Cryo Cryotherapy, um, Rosario's Pizza is where I'm going to be having my official fight party. Um, as always, Donovan May, my chiropractor. Shout out all my gyms, Heritage Muay Thai, Submission Boxing Academy, Gracie Barr, uh, all my training partners, all my sparring partners, everybody that uh, comes out and helps me. Um, man, I know I'm forgetting some sponsors, so <laughs> let me apologize for the ones I do forget. forget. But, yeah, that's about it for me.